Okay, okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the country news and update. It's a hot segment where we get to see what's popping and trending on our Kenyan showbiz industry, where all the gossip is and what you might have missed while you are busy. And you know what? We got you. We got you. The country news and updates. We got you. So please subscribe and turn on the notification icon for daily, daily updates. So about today, our interesting celebrity, you're going to talk about Naughty Flow. Wow. I'm a Tessa. I'm a Tessa this week. I'm a Tessa. So you find that this week, it was uh, Naughty Not Flow's birthday. And uh, as you all know, eh, okay, on a birthday, Unataka ma gift, unataka ma presents, kama uko na uko na mchumba, unataka ku surprise. So what Naughty Flo did? <laughs> yani, hey, birthday ji, ama birthdays, kandi ama birthdays. Yani this, this one was so good, was so good, was so good, you know. So Naughty Flo had her birthday. And uh, what is surprising is that instead of her girlfriend Instead of Naughty Flo's girlfriend to gift her a birthday present, you find that Naughty Flo decided to gift her girlfriend a birthday present. What? Hey! You're not ready for this, you know? It is a 1.8 million Volkswagen, a blue one. She surprised her girlfriend on her birthday. No, don't get it wrong. Naughty Flo's was having her birthday but decided to surprise her girlfriend with a birthday present, which was a 1.8 million Volkswagen. This has taken over the social media. It has brought about news because it's, let's say, one in a million things that you can do. While others are just like, Don't you buy a nini? Eh? What should you bring for me? But this one now decided to give her girlfriend a present on her own birthday. Ah, that was good. So she had an interview. We can see it was also posted by the Nairobi Gossip. It was posted by Mungai Eva while she was gifting the present. So what do, what do you see? You present me. Let's talk in the comment section, you know. Let's talk, let's talk. Yeah. Nah, you're joking. I'm not joking. You can't. Nah, what the fuck? You can't. Okay. And to another news. There's this celebrity, Otile Brown. Otile. Badman Shivo, Otile Brown. It was his 30th birthday. This week, he made birthday. I'm a bazoo, eh? It was his 30th birthday. He decided to take the netizens by surprise when he decided to. Hey, Mungina and Lia Mungina present. We are Kamoku Jinunulia. So he decided to buy himself. Hey, hey. A Balenciaga croc boots. Yani, Yadani. Any boots ya Yakijani. Eh, what? 80,000 shillings. Crocs ya bafu. What? 80,000. Thousand shillings, man. He also went ahead even to post the real price of the Crocs, eh? and he and he quotes this one. He was throw, th he was throwing some shades to the to the Kenyan artist like Asema Hivi. So you all artists claim to be richer than Obize. Okay, anyways, here's the price for the boots. It's a $695. When you do the conversion, it comes to 80,000 Kenya shillings. It's a men's Crocs boot in green. So he posted the unboxing of the present when it arrived. You can see it. And uh, he just wanted to throw some shirts. Because I was going to get a pesa, but I want a kid. I want a kid. I was going to get a
on to another news. We are talking about uh, flakoraz. Flakoraz. So it comes to a point where Flakoraz released a new song called Insincere. Just this week's news, you know, Insincere by Flakoraz. Actually, it's doing pretty well on YouTube because he just dropped it, I think, this week, this week, just two days ago. Flakoraz dropped his song Insincere and the vixen, guess who the vixen was? <laughs> Carol Mutoni, yeah? ex, an ex to Mulama, Mulamua the comedian, an ex to Mulamua the comedian, an ex to Mulamua the comedian. Yeah, so Insincere dropped, and uh, what came back or what came out to the netizens is that. Flakoraz went ahead to his page to post <laughs> how his father had gone to his DM and was really trying to... He was not pleased by what he was seeing in terms of the visuals of the song. To him, he feels like it is not the right way for Flakoraz to go and maybe he should not have done it. And to him, there was also another incident of June... 2019 on the second where he also did something else and the father had not commended it had really discouraged him from doing such and so this time round to the messages let me read them as, as they went so Flakora started by telling his father he'll call him back shortly and then the father was like Emmanuel I saw a song you posted yesterday you put a song on your YouTube platform yes I did Jana Subui Emmanuel this is a video I had once called you about and I think it is not a reflection of what I commend. Wah! Hey, Mpasho. You posted on 2nd June 2019 and it is not pleasant in my advice. This new one is very confusing for me. <laughs> hey, call me as soon as you can. Okay, though daddy, there is nothing specifically wrong with it. That visual was the perfect representation of the lyrics artistically. Call me. Ay! When you see a father that has just finished the statement by the word call me, means some lectures are going down. Some lectures are going down, 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 down. But to some extent, it, it looks like the father was not pleased by the visuals of this song Insincere which actually is doing pretty well but maybe to African customs, African beliefs and our parents way of culture it may not have been appropriate in his eyes what do you say in the comment section let's talk it's the country news as I leave you to subscribe ah, to like our partner you have to share let's meet next time and it's the country news